Hello fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about DC Multiverse Wave Rider from DC Classics. And if you are familiar with Wave Rider, he is a time traveling um, hero that goes back in time to solve a crisis. So, if you see here, we see Wave Rider, we see he has lots of accessories. On the side, we see a Wave Rider. On the back, we see some artwork and Wave Rider DC Classics. And on this side, we see Wave Rider DC Classics. So let's get a scale in here and see how much this guy weighs. And we'll see that heat comes in at 11.2 ounces in the box. So let's get him out and see how cool he is. Okay, now that we have him out of the box, let's take a look at his card. Here we see his card from the artwork from the box. And here is his bio. Please pause to read. All right, let's take a look at the figure himself. Too bright, too bright, too bright. Okay. Now let's take a look at his accessories. He comes with a pointy hand. You are the one. And he comes with a fisty. And he comes with a few of these accessories. Now they all appear to be similar. There's really not much distinction except for the ends of them. You can see these two are similar. Well, this one has a little different end. So, all in all, four really different pieces to strap onto him. Now they all have these holes here, so they can, like I say, strap onto an arm or a leg, depending on which one. But this one probably arm, this one probably a leg. So it looked like he's got the power. So now that we are done with his accessory, let's pull it in for a closer look. Now he does have this flame on the head and it is translucent orange plastic. And the gold going all over his body and this outfit here. Armor and his gauntlets. Pretty nice. And the face sculpt here. So, if we look at articulation, this guy can look up, down, right and left. Arms are protected by these shoulder guards, or gap fillers. Does a pretty good T-pose. Arm rotates all the way around. Has a bicep and a double elbow. He can say, what, what? His Abby Crunchy, pretty nice. It's a double layer, this layer, then that one. Cover it, covers his waist, which he can rotate around. Now there is no upper thigh, but he does a very nice split, as well as a double bend in the knee. As far as boot goes, there's no, no turn but his ankle is on a ball joint and he has toe rotation. Nice stiff knees that will help with standing up later. So if we go ahead and put this guy on his base, get him all in there. We can see this is a rather tall figure. If we do look, he does come in right at seven and a half inches. And that is the top of the flame here. So that means he will be taller than a stormtrooper. And about the same size as 
other McFarlane figures. So that means he will fit in nicely with the multiverse figures. Which the line is based on. So, which would make sense, right? So, thoughts on this guy? Yeah, it's good to have some obscure characters. I don't even think I have this in the universe line. So, um, yeah. Definitely cool to see him. He's one of those characters that played a big part in one story and then kind of just uh, fizzled out. But you can see here, you can attach on his these time strips or something like that or whatever you want to name them. They just simply just fasten onto his leg or his knees or however you want to, to pose them. But they don't look uh, natural unless you give it part of that bend. Okay, until next time guys, remember like, subscribe, and keep collecting.